Hello students, welcome back once again. Now in the first, first video session class, what we have done, till where we have finished. Now let's see here, we have finished till pasting, uh, till cut, copy and paste commands we have, we have finished till here. Now after completing cut, copy and paste commands, now let's continue our chapter without wasting any time with the next command of ms excel 2010 that is undo and redo commands now this is also the same as the ms word what we have done in the ms word undo and redo commands now you must have used this command while working in ms word now the book itself is telling here now you must have used this command while working on ms word we have already done this redo and undo command in ms word that is microsoft word as the same name indicates, the undo feature allows you to cancel. The undo feature allows you to cancel the last step you perform in the worksheet. Okay, kanya last step to kiba step two. Mo hando ko dito buko na undo haybani dito hanjan niya kana redo haybani. For example, while entering the names of the students. If the record of a student is deleted by mistake, and but okay, while entering the names of a student, and while entering the name of some students or entering the name of a class, if by default you deleted a student name and details, what you can do is you can just use the undo command, okay. The deletion can be undone. Whatever you have deleted can be undone by using the undo feature. Okay. By using the undo feature. Now just click on the undo command on the quick access toolbar. Okay. Here it is one here in figure number 9 here. You can see here. This is the undo command and this is the redo command. Okay. You can see this on the quick access toolbar the opposite of undo is redo whatever you undo it you can redo it by using the redo command to redo the last action click on the redo command on the quick access toolbar this redo command also you can get on the quick access toolbar okay undo and redo commands i guess i'm just explaining you but i guess you have already know these two commands as we have already learned in ms word also now which command, which Excel command will you use to do the following? Now to un undo the last action perform, you use the undo command. And redo the last action perform, you use the redo command. Now add more text to an already fill up cell. Add more text. If you want to add more cells, just we have done in the uh, previous class, in the first video session class, I have told you, if you want to edit, Suppose you have written a number 24 and you have to add three more digits. That is two, four, two, three, four, like this. What you have to do, you have to just, you can double click on the cell or either you can click on the cell and press F2 from the keyboard. Like this, you can add more text on the already fill up cell and move cell from one position to another. Here you can use the cut command from the Cut copy paste command. You can use the cut command to move from one position to another. We do the last action. We use the redo command. Now inserting cell rows and columns. How you can insert rows, uh, cells and columns? Now you can see here. To insert cell rows and columns in your worksheet, follow the steps given below here. Select the cell. Click on the home tab. You have to click on the home tab. Then in the home tab, you have to go to the cells group. Click on the insert row to go on the cells group and you have to click on the insert arrow. This is the insert arrow. Okay. And select the insert cells. From the insert arrow, you have to click, you have to select the insert cells here. Then I've shown in figure number 10A here. The insert dialog box appears showing four options. Now this is the four option given here. With a radio button, okay. Radio button means what? You can select either of these. Any one you can select. 
swing of the ship cells right ship cells down entire row entire column you want to insert an entire row or entire column or you want to shift the selected cells down or the cells up you can or to the right you can choose the option from here here it is selected as shift cells down will bring the cells down okay you can just press ok then <coughs> now these are the options and these are the descriptions Sell, shift cell right if you want to shift cells right move the selected cell to the right and insert a new cell shift cells right means what the meaning of this shift cells right means move the selected cell whatever cell you have to you, you just selected will be moved to the right and insert a new cell and the meaning of this shift cells down means moves down the selected cell the selected cell will moves down and insert a new cell and entire row means moves down the entire row containing the selected cell and inserts a new row we will move down the entire row containing the selected cell and inserts a new row then entire column means moves down the entire column containing the selected cell to the right and inserts a new column this is the meaning of these four options given here in the insert okay in the insert <coughs> shift cells right shift cells down entire row entire column the meaning of this is shift cells right that means it moves the selected cell to the right and insert a new cell and shift cells down means it moves down the cell selected cell it will move down the selected cell and insert a new cell entire row means it moves down the entire row containing the selected cell and moves and inserts a new row and entire column means it moves down the entire column containing the selected cell to the right and inserts a new column. Then after that, the next step is select one of the four options depending on your requirement. According to our requirement, we have to select from the four options. We have to select any one according to our requirement. Then click OK to insert cells, rows or columns. That's it. Okay. Now try insert try to insert a row or a column in a worksheet. In a worksheet, you can open if you have computer at home, you can try this at home to insert row, to insert column in a worksheet. Now deleting cell rows and columns. Now we have already have just told you how to insert cell rows and columns. Now after knowing how to insert, now let's see what are the steps to delete cells, rows and columns. Now to delete cell or rows and columns, the follow the steps given below. Select the cell, click on the home tab in the cells group. Like in the yeah, insert cells and rows column, you have to go to the home, then the cell group, then Instead of going to the insert, now first of all, we go to this insert for inserting. For, but now, what you want to do, you want to delete it. So you have to go to this delete option. The delete arrow down, you have to click on the delete arrow down and then select the deleted, delete cells given in figure number 11 here. The delete the drop, drop down menu here. Now it is given the same options here. Save cells left, save cells up. <coughs> Entire row, entire column. Okay, the delete dialog box appears showing the four option. Now, what are the meaning? Okay, what are the meaning for these four options? Now, let's see here. Shift cells left means delete the selected cell. It will delete the selected cell and move the cells on the right of the selected cell towards left. And what is the meaning of shift cells up? Delete the selected, it will delete the selected cell and move the cells below the selected cell upwards. Entire row means delete the entire row containing the selected cell. Now, containing the selected cell, it will delete the entire row, and containing the selected cell, it will delete the entire column. Okay, after that, the fourth, op the fourth step is to select one of the four options given here, like we have done for the insert 
of insert inserting sales columns and rows also we have given four options now for deleting also you have four options and you can select any one of these according to a recommend then after they click ok to delete the cells or rows or columns resizing rows and columns now you can resize the cell you can resize the cell according to your requirement but the default height of a row is 15.00 and default width of a column is 8.43 this is the default now you can underline this from here to here the first line <coughs> you can underline this here the default height of a row is 15.00 and the default width of a column is 8.43 now in the, this also i may ask in the exam for one mark okay in a one mark or a one word question like what is the default height of a row the answer will be 15.00 and the default width of a column in an mx excel 2010 is 8.43 now if the data you are entering requires a larger number of the cell its height and width can be adjusted in excel as per the requirement according to our requirement you can you can uh, adjust the height and the width of the excel now column width is measured in number of characters and row height is measured in points row height the height of the row is measured in points and the width of a column is measured in characters this also you can underline this also you can underline here the column width is measured in number of characters column width is measured in number of characters that is default is 8.43 and the row height is measured in row height is measured in points that is 15.00 by default now resizing a row now these are the steps for resizing a row now let's see what are the steps Select any cell in the row whose height is to be adjusted. If you want to any uh, adjust any cell, you have to just select the cell. After that, you have to go to the Home tab, then to the Cells group, and click on the Format. Now click on the Format option here. Format button. A drop-down menu appears. So in Figure number 12a, the Format options here. Now this is the Format options here. Format button and the options available are here cell size visibility organize seats now you want to adjust the cell size so you have to go here and after that the row height dialog box will open so in figure number 12b if you want to resize the row you have to go to the row height okay then this dialog box will appear the row height dialog box will appear it's given in point here by by default it will be 15 but you can adjust it you can minimize it or maximize maximize it according to your requirement okay and after that or there is different method also for resizing the row height now place the mouse over the edge of the row divider then the mouse pointer will change automatically to a double headed arrow you can drag it to adjust the Height of the row manually shown in figure number 12c changing the row height now what you have to do you have to place the mouse on the edge of the row divider select so, row divider say row first row the second row number place row divider say see my father mouse pointer your mouse pointer changes to a double headed arrow pointing towards up and down double headed arrow you can drag it to adjust the height of the row manually okay <coughs> now resizing the column also same you have to go to the home tab sales group format button then after that you have to go to the instead of going to the here instead of going instead of going to the row high you have to go for column width okay for changing the for resizing the column I have to go to the column width from the cell cell size section the column width the log box will open one in figure number 13a 13a here the default is 
now the enter the required width value in the in it according to a requirement and another method for resizing the column width is by placing the mouse on the edge of the column divider like this between c column and d column there is a column divider here you have to just bring the mouse pointer here your mouse pointer will change this to a double headed arrow pointing towards left and right yet ka hoye ga double headed arrow the double headed arrow mo on kani adu double headed arrow to on matum na you can drag it to the left or to the right according to your requirement nang na pam ba pihan gera cho hon gera adu ki matum ina double headed arrow do yet on the oil on the chung chung to ga se me yare now if the content of the cell go beyond the width of the column you can also double click in the double click in between the two columns headings in between the two column headings to automatically increase the width this is called auto fit column width see the chandragadi and this is column and this is marks it double click to matam da matam to automatically see the auto fit column width hai je aur matam matam de increase karo ganu shyan ganu channel me jamo to the contents of the cell you born go beyond the width of the column lagi king gadi you can also double click in between the two columns column ani marta double click to matam da matam da column headings to automatically increase to gine aduga mana u the box may should be open now next topic is the formatting data in a worksheet now formatting implies sending the appearance of text for example sending the font size changing the font font size and color you'll now learn the various ways to format data in a worksheet now changing the appearance of the text to make it more interesting to make it more interactive to the user is called formatting as i told you to make it more beautiful okay by coloring it by making it bold by making it bigger by by changing the font font face font size and making um, giving different colors that is known as formatting okay you will now learn the various ways to format the data in a worksheet now let's see here changing the font and its size how to change the font that is the, how to change the font means the font face now these are all same as what we have done in the ms word for ms word to we was in the other chap man re cd man bhai di but i'll just read out this font size font face now changing the font style that is bold it like underline we have already done alignment that is left alignment right alignment center alignment and justify there are four elements given in the in the word also and in the given in the excel also okay when i'm up my name now let's see this changing the font font and its size select the cell or the range of cells you want to change the font and its size from the home tape now for the font and font size you have to go to the home tape then to the font group click on the font and drop down list of fonts appears on in figure number 14a here the font drop down list here from here you can choose choose the font face like calibri cambria calibri times new roman algerian whatever font you like you can choose here and the font size also the font size the drop down the low box the font size also you can choose the size according to your requirement now apa matung na kyam chahoni ni hab matung na font size kan be are si jina font face kan ge ga na mai ma mai gi script to ram bas ke to he ni ge hab nan se ki kan be ya ga ne okay this is very easy as we have already done then the next is the changing the font style also very easy bold it like underline bold hai kana when mohan ba like i'll show you an example here underline option now select the cell or the range of cell which you which to change the style click on the bold it like and underline option in the font group in the font group i will say the see the font in a dark way like the groups in a dark way like so that way see see bold is in the name so you home tab hai re see home in a dark way tab in a way see home see bold is in the name 
ने बोल सी जना भाई सी मोहली के तो वैसे कि इतली गाइस ना कहीं ना कहीं ना स्लंटिंग लाइन स्लं स्लंटिंग मोंग द कहीं ना भाई ना भाई ना इबे तो है कि आह थिंग्स पॉइंट्स तू रिमेम्बर कहाँ है कहाँ लगा ना तो गा सम इम्पोर्टेन्ट वो पार्ट फिर तो कहीं ना भाई ना भाई ना हाँ पहले सी वो कहीं ना इतली है ब ओके नो आई शो यू हियर द इतली फॉर्म नाउ हियर the column with dialog box will open the the column with dialog box will open the is that right on the kita ni cek pagi lagi na sis ni kau ni itli hai si kau slanting mungkin lagi je sis ni kau ni itli hai si na then underline di ni kau ni mana underline di kau ni important passing tu kau ni underline tu kau ni tu tu si na kau ni underline bold itli underline the keyboard shortcut for ball also we have already known that is control plus b ball we have given a control plus e now before making it ball you have to select the cell or the cells cell that is cell so hana select over you have to for before applying these uh, formatting you have to just select the cell or the cell which you want to make the formatting select over madaka oi because ball we have given the control plus b you click on the diagonal control plus i and if you want to underline a selected cell or cells you have to first select the cell or cells or the range of cells then you have to press control plus u okay from the keyboard this then other keyboard shortcuts you know you have control plus b control plus i control plus u is not keyboard shortcuts but normally you can go to the home tab and you can click on the ball you click underline option in the phone group in the home tab so the home tab is going to be phone group is going to be ball you click underline and then click through the season as well then changing the alignment the placement of the cells contains can be changed with respect to the cell margins this is called changing the alignment excel allows you to change the horizontal and vertical alignment of the cell contains so follow the steps one below to align the text of a cell now select the cell or the range of cell which you want to align click on the home tab you have to just click on the home tab then after that in the alignment group for a horizontal alignment you can click on any of the left right center left center or right alignment button to align your text left now if you want to align your text to the left you can choose here or to make it center or to make it to the right also you can choose here like this <coughs> or for vertical alignment you can click on any of the for vertical now this is for vertical okay this is for horizontal these are for vertical and these are for horizontal for vertical alignment you can click on any of the top middle or button alignment buttons to align your text next text to the Top, middle, or bottom of the cell, respectively, shown in figure number 16. The alignment buttons here. Now, for horizontal alignment, given here for horizontal alignment, you can make it to the left align. This is the left alignment. This is center alignment, and this is a right alignment. And for the vertical alignments, for these vertical alignments, vertical elements is given here. You can make it to the top. This one. Then next is the middle, that is this one, and next is the bottom of the cell, that is this one, the third option. For a particular element, you can choose from here. For right cell, you can choose it from here. Right, these are the elements you can change in the MS Excel with Hogan team. Okay, for today, let's do it till here. That is changing the alignment. Now in the third video session, third and the last video session class, one more video session. I'll make that is the last. That will be the last part, chapter number seven. In that we'll do the merging and merge and center and some other topic given here in this chapter number seven. Okay, students, stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy.